Hello everybody, uh, Caitlin here. I realize I haven't done a vlog in mm, quite a long time. Uh, I know it's been at least uh, somewhat of a little while. I meant to do one on uh, I meant to do one on the 14th, and today is the 20th. Um, yeah, I meant to do a vlog on May 14th because. Uh, I was going to point out that it was, that it has been uh, two years since my dad passed away, and uh, I was going to do some reflecting on that as well as uh, I was working on writing in my other, my WordPress uh, blog as well, which if you're not following that quite yet, um, I'll put the link in the description, it's echocatharsis.wordpress.com, and the link will take you right there, correct spelling and everything. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? Oh, God. Just, oh, well, one of the biggest things uh, that hindered my being able to, um, being able to reflect and grieve and stuff. I mean, I got some in, but then... I had a sudden issue that caused me to have to end a friendship, well, or rather an acquaintanceship that I thought was a trustworthy friendship, but then I realized that I couldn't trust, and so you will hear no more talk. I don't know if I've talked about C um, using her initial in the... Uh, in these video blogs, but, uh, you will hear no more talk of her. She is no longer my friend, and she is no longer allowed on this property, even. She verbally and emotionally abused my landlady. She caused a scene, uh, a drunken scene for all the neighbors to hear, and she tried to get me in the middle of it and me involved, which I was good and I steered clear of, uh, steered clear of, and didn't get, you know, I mean, I got involved enough to tell her, you know, the honest truth, but that ended it. We're no longer friends. We're no longer speaking to each other. I've locked her on Facebook. I've locked her on my iPhone. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, so then I took a couple of days to recover from that. Um... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Friday was cool. I got to talk to N virtually like all day Friday. <laughs> oh, plus I got to listen to B do his online radio show. I had it on the background when I was talking to N. Uh, checked in a couple times with A and E. Um, I don't remember if I FaceTimed them, but uh, I know I at least checked in via audio message. Uh, oh, I talked to B&T, which was very, very good. Uh, I got kind of some, um, uh, some more help on my soul-searching, trying to find a place to belong, uh, trying to just read what my, you know, they just put it very, well, bluntly in a good way. They said, you know, search what my heart and soul says, because obviously my mind is like six ways from loose and can't tell anything. <laughs> um, so I'll probably be in the midst of that kind of thing when I feel that I get back around to a so, uh, somewhat, uh, I'll just say a functional state. I was going to say normal, but I mean, what is normal really? <laughs> I mean, look, I don't have a normal update time for these uh, vlogs. I'm updating in the afternoon with this nice sunlight instead of, like, trying to go, th like, this and cover up the bright lamp at, like, ass o'clock in the morning. Um, so, that was good. It was my Friday, Saturday, I don't really remember. Uh, <laughs> Sunday was amusing. Um, Sunday morning was very, very amusing in terms of how I woke up. Um, I woke up with a text message. And the text message, well, okay, so my ex, Jay, doesn't text. But, you know, 
he always does that silly thing that, I mean, I'm sure people still do it with their phones, but, you know the thing when you want to leave a voicemail and says, to leave a callback number, press 5, and then it basically texts you act, acting like an old pager. Well, sure enough, I heard his number and said, wow, he's getting to be even more of a coward, you know, before he was leaving um, a couple of, I mean, it took him maybe a couple of weeks apart or so, but he was leaving voicemails, which I, of course, erased and laughed at and didn't respond to anyway. Uh, and now he's such a coward that he's leaving his number, which I already know by heart anyway, because it's sitting there on my block list, and that's why he couldn't get through, and that's why the only two things he can do are leave a callback number and a voicemail. And the fun part is Saturday is his birthday. Yay. <laughs> That's going to be a fun PTSD day. PTSD day not. Um, let's see. Yeah. Speaking of which, well, my insomnia has just been, like, stark raving crazy. Um... I ended up missing the two social activities that I was looking forward to this week. Um, I absolutely could not keep my eyes open. Like, I woke up Monday at 2 in the afternoon, had quote-unquote breakfast. I mean, they were breakfast foods, even though I was eating them in the afternoon. And uh, then just was so bleh that I, you know, I knew I needed more sleep, so I went to bed at 6.30 after telling my ride that I wasn't feeling well, missed out on choir, um, and then I slept through most of yesterday, on um, Tuesday, pretty okay, but then when it got to be last night, oh, last night was hard for me, I wanted to stay in bed because I wanted to sleep, um, because, oh, I know what it was. I almost woke up either Tuesday morning or Tuesday afternoon, but I still was feeling tired and didn't want to go get food, um, didn't want to walk to the market, and didn't have any food in the house, so kind of forced myself to go back to sleep. And <clears throat> last night, I was on again, off again, asleep again, awake again, asleep again, awake again, hungry as hell, you know, just didn't, you know, didn't even want to move because I knew the moving around a lot would make my stomach hurt or make me awake and aware enough that I was hungry. Um, and then it just got to, well, one thing I know for sure, I, I'm surprised I took my meds on Monday. I thought I had missed them then too, but I know that I missed my meds yesterday, so it's good that I took them today. Um, <clears throat> but I was just, you know, I was even getting to the point where I was suicidal, which I won't make too big of a deal out of on this vlog, you know, because I don't want to scare anybody or get, like, you know, send the wrong message out and get, like, negative attention, because obviously, um, I'm stable enough now, and I'm, you know, alive and well, and I got food, um, you know, uh, today, um, I finally got myself up out of bed, um, took a shower, was really, really, like, you know, I had to not only, you know, take a shower, but I think I drank about, like, three bottles of water, uh, because I was just really weak and weird, and, like, um, then when I got out of the shower, I felt like going back to sleep again, and I felt half awake, and I was like, no, I gotta, I was like, okay, well, I'll at least rest until my hair dries, and then, uh, I will, you know, I'll do stuff on my phone, and um, when my hair dries, I'll get dressed and go to market, which is what I did. I wanted to get a nice full uh, meal today. I wanted to get, because uh, the 
and the girl at the deli makes both uh, breakfast burritos and sandwiches, but unfortunately I caught her on the day she was packing up to go on vacation, so she had already packed up all of her breakfast stuff, and she only was able to make me a sandwich, but I got a big snack to go along with it, um, plus a dessert I probably shouldn't have gotten, but... Uh, oh well. <laughs> no, so I had a turkey bacon Swiss, um, like sandwich, deli sandwich on a sub roll that also had pickles, tomatoes, olives, and onions. Um, and for the snack, I got, um, I can actually show you the snack I've been snacking on. These are called munchies. They are, like, so awesome. They're a mix of. I can't read that. <laughs> They're a mix of uh, roll gold pretzels, nacho Doritos, um, uh, cheddar, some chips, and Cheetos. So I've been having, a, I'm going to have some more of those late, uh, later. Got some Dr. Pecker to keep me caffeinated. But um, even though I've been caffeinated and have been checking my email, and oh, I got back on Skype. Um, Talked a little with uh, some of the some of uh, good old system quick and made them. Uh, I was glad to cheer them up before they got a good night's sleep. Made them laugh. Um, so I did a little bit of skyping, uh, and then I decided I wanted to do more like vlog updating and things like that. And I also needed some music because um, at first when I woke up, I felt like really fuzzy headed like I almost had a headache now that feeling is gone but now I just feel kind of spacey like as if the caffeine hasn't worked all the way <laughs> okay I'm trying not to yawn um so I think one of the things that got me through my rough time is that um I've been I haven't been so good at using this for avoiding self-harm because it doesn't snap that well but I have a um, one of those like charity wristband things and it's green and it's bright neon green for uh, mental health it says each mind matters um, but it fits kind of loosely on my wrist and so if I kind of pull it up like this and like well not shake it around totally but like kind of you know move it around like this or it kind of does a little bit, and it reminds me of, you know, my um, my peer support system online, the mental health email lists, um, people that do care about me locally, you know, and that I keep telling myself that even though, even if they don't always, like, talk to me or say hi to me or hang out with me, that they still do care and they want to know that I'm okay, because I was going through a little of that last night, a little of the no one cares, no one cares, and having to remind myself that yes, you know, people do care, and uh, I'm going to put more insight, uh, I do more in-depth things, you know, in my uh, WordPress blog writing, because that's kind of my space to um, get things out with mental health related issues and recovery and uh, things like that. And, uh, so yeah, I'm probably going to end up, um, Skyping with people tonight at some point this evening or something like that. Uh, and then, most importantly, I'm going to try and get my sleep schedule back on track. And just as much as I take my Lexapro and my, uh, high blood pressure meds in the morning for my daily health, I think I'm going to start taking a visceral to knock me out and make me go sleepy by in the evenings um just so and it'll help calm my anxiety too but it'll help my body get used to like because it lets me know pretty quickly like you need to go to sleep now you know and i mean the medicine's there for me i'm i can take it up to three times a day as needed but because it makes me so sleepy I usually reserve it for afternoons, evenings, or nighttime, and so I'm going to start using it as like a nighttime psych med to help regulate me and help stop this insomnia crap. And speaking of stopping, I'm going to stop this vlog for now and uh, go upload it, and I'll catch you next time around.